Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain you what are arithmetic operations in UiPath and how to use that and um, with simple examples, okay? So you can understand easily with this video and let me show you what are the arithmetic operations in UiPath. So this is power or root operations like 2 power 2 is 4 like that and this is addition operation. I think you are familiar with all this. But I will show you how to use these operations in UI path and the subtraction operations like 4 minus 2 is 2 and this is multiplication operations like 4 into 2 is 8 and this is division operations like 8 by 4 is 2 and this is modulus operations. Uh, it gives a reminder of two numbers like um, when 9 is divisible by 4 it gives reminder 1 because 4 2s are 8 and 9 minus 8 is one so let me show you with the examples in our uipath studio so go to our uipath studio and here i am going to take on sequence activity and inside that i am going to take two assign activities because i am going to give two operands and here i will explain you what are operands and what is the operator okay so um, look at this so for example 8 plus 5 is equal to 13 right this is one function uh, so now operator can can be used to perform various simple calculations and functions so like this and plus operator is used to perform addition of two operands okay what are the operands here 8 and 5 are the operands and this plus is operator so a plus 5 is is equal to 13 okay so this is simple calculation so go to our uipath studio and let me take a sequence activity into our designer panel search for sequence and here i'm going to use two assign activities to give two inputs and I will take one more assign activity to store the output of addition adding these two numbers okay so first let me create a variable I'm going to use a control plus k shortcut and let me name it as first number and I will assign 8 here and immediately go to variables panel click on this so first number variable is created and the change is type to int okay that's it and click on this and let me create one more variable and i'm going to name it as a second number first number and second number and i will assign with the five so change is data type to int and I will create one more variable to store the output control plus key and I will name it as addition output okay addition output so this is the variable name and change its type to int okay three variables are here and let me write the expression like 8 plus sorry no 8 plus 5 we can give the variable names first name first number and use this plus and second number okay that's it and i am going to use message box activity to display the output of addition of two these two numbers and i will pass this variable name after adding these two numbers so it is addition output so let me run this and show you so this is so simple right uh, you got the output 8 plus 5 is 13 okay so similarly i will use or i will edit this one only so click on this go to properties and click on this value field and I will just change this operator to minus that's it and let me run this board so 
so this is a perfect output 8 minus 5 8 minus 5 is 3 so till now we have seen addition operation and subtraction operations and next let me see multiplication operation just change this operator to multiplication okay let me run this okay it's fine 8 into 5 is 40 okay so what happened if I change this to this operator to division like 8 divided by 5 that's it so we got error because you need to see cannot assign from type system dot double to type system dot int so we need to change its type to double so if you don't know why what type of data it is going to display in the output you can simply go to variables and addition output right just click on this drop down at variable type and browse for generic value so you can use this type of uh, data type only when you don't know what type of data you are going to get at the output so type a generic value so you can see here click on this and click on ok so you got this generic value Good. and click assign then run it One point six. So eight divided by five is one point six. So till now, I, ho I hope you could understand uh, addition, subtraction, and multiplication and division operations. And next, I'm going to show you one interesting thing, that is modulus operations and how it works. Okay. So first, let me delete this activity, and I will add one more activity here. It's assign activity only and I will create a variable and I will name it as modular operation ok and how to give uh, the uh, expression here is 8 caps m and mod 5 so what it is it is going to do is it will give the reminder of 8 and 5 like uh, look at this example so just now I have given 8 mod 5 in the expression field so it will divide this 8 with 5 so 5 ones are 5 it will give the remainder 3 it is going to display 3 at the output so this mod modulus operation will use the remainder of these two numbers like two operands so go to our way path so it is going to display or give the output as a 3 and I will remove this I will give the variable name modular operation and click on this and change its variable type to int ok so run it So this is perfect 3 is the reminder of 8 and 5 when 8 is divisible by 5 as I said in the example so like this 8 is divisible by 5 and it gives the reminder 1 sorry reminder 3. So similarly when I give this 29 mod 5 it will give the reminder 4 ok so look at this 29 mod 5 so 29 is divisible by 5 and which gives a reminder 4 so go to a path and just change this to 29 you can do any numbers I am just showing some examples let me run this as we expect it will give the reminder 4 you can see at the message box uh, 4 is here so simply you can practice on giving different numbers uh, for example let me give 35 mod 4 so when 35 is by 4 it gives the reminder 3 because 4 8s are 32 and 35 minus 2 is 3 okay so this is the reminder 
ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಮಾಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಎ ಪಾತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗಿವ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಮಾಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ರನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಓಕೆ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಮೈಂಡರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಮಾಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಗೋಟ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಶೋ ಯು ಪವರ್ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ವೇ ಪಾತ್ ಸೊ ಟಿಲ್ ನೌ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಯು ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕಲ್ ಪವರ್ ಆರ್ ರೂಟ್ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಗೋ ಟು ವೇ ಪಾಸ್ ಸ್ಟುಡಿಯೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇ ಸಾರಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಲೀಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಆಸ್ ಆನ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ and i will create one more variable using control plus k shortcut and let me name it as power operation so this is power operation in ui path and how to use it is you can just simply use our variable names and use this cap and simply second variable so it's a second number that's it and you need to change its variable type to double because power operation because this is going to give double variable sorry double numeric number i search for double value so here it is click on it and click okay and click on this see now its variable type is double click on variables and click assign and change the variable name at the message box we need to display our power operation now run this bot so 8 power 5 is this 3 2 7 6 8 is a double value or we can also say 8 root 5 okay so this is how to use arithmetic operations in ai path uh, thanks for watching please do subscribe and like and keep practicing on arithmetic operations